Good morning, wieners, what is cranking? Welcome back to Camp Claw. Today's a very exciting day because we're gonna film something a little bit different. It is uh, freaking freezing this morning. Definitely one of the coldest mornings that I've woken up here in Maine. I'll give you guys an exact number. Actually, my phone is moving slow. Uh, here's the current temp. Just take a look at that. Disgusting, nasty, but what's nice is no wind today. So we figured cold temps, no wind, let's go fishing. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're actually on a very important big mission. Gonna be a cool video because we're chasing after fish I've legitimately never caught before. I've been fishing basically 21 years of my very young life and I've never caught one of these fish, that fish being the splake. If you guys don't know what a splake is, look it up right now or just wait in the video when I, I crank a big one. Hopefully, fingers crossed. It's basically a hybridized fish. You take a brook trout, you take a lake trout, and then you make them make babies, and they end up looking like this. Wicked looking fish. They can't reproduce on their own. They're, I believe the terminology is they're, they're sterile, they're triploid, so they can't reproduce. But Maine DNR does a really good job of stocking them in some of the lakes around here. So we figured, Alex and I, pack up the new Red Runner, head onto this lake, try to catch them. Maybe we don't, maybe we do. At the very least, we can catch some lake trout, and uh, if we do, we'll bring them back and do a little catch and cook because everyone loves a good catch and cook. Also, we haven't eaten any fish since we've been up here, so it's good. We, we gotta build up and bulk up for the, for, the, for the cold winter up here. Definitely protein is needed. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this intro off. Hope you guys are excited. Stick with it, stay tuned, and let's have a day. You need a rock, senor? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. he's got his backpack on. Serious, things are happening. I found Alex. Good news, we're ready to film, we're ready to fish. I don't know, every time I say we're gonna catch something in a video, we, we tend to not do it, but I think we can make it happen today. Let's go. We've made it. We're the only ones at the ramp today, baby. Fishing on a Tuesday, ain't nobody out here. Got the whole pond to ourselves, I think it's like a 460 acre pond that we literally get to fish all by ourselves. Let's get after it. Kids, anglers alike, always bring extra pins for anything, not even ice fishing. Pins save lives, and they also keep me from getting headaches. I just lost my, I don't even know. My pin was in there last night, and when I pulled the jet sled out, it's not there. The pin fairy always gets me. Then get this one, though. I'll, I'm sure I'll lose this tomorrow, though. I'm sure I will. Too, really clean water. 39. So this is a new lake. I've never fished here before. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but we're fishing for a fish that I've never caught. So new lake, new fish. Generally, from what I've observed, is these fish we either go very shallow or very deep. They've got the genetics of a brook trout which kind of gravitates towards the shallow part of the lakes, but also they've got lake trout genetics. So lake trout like to hang out in the deepest spots. It seems like the deepest uh, point in this lake is like 55 feet. 55 feet, 60 foot. We're starting on kind of an edge, 34 feet right there in that hole, 39 right here, and then 43. I'm actually riding in the snow how deep the hole is, and what we're looking for is like a drastic change in contour. I wanna find a spot where it goes from like 30 to 50, but this is a pretty good contour change. We might jig this up a little bit. If we find one fish, generally there's gonna be some more around. So the goal is splake, but also lake trout and brookies. Look how close we are to the bank. This is, this is exactly what you want. Lake trout are kind of like bass in the sense that they chase bait just like large and smallmouth. They will look for walls, any sort of break to push bait up to. That's a lot of ice, Tony. My spoon's too big. Have you seen that one too? No. My spoon is too big? No, what, what is my spoon is my too big? My spoon is too big. It's uh, angry ticks fly out of my nipples. You've never seen that one? <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you watching? What are you consuming for content? And now for angry ticks fly out of my nipples. My spoon is too big. Yeah, everyone watching at home knows. 
exactly what video I'm talking about. Kind of like Golden Pond. It's <laughs> beyond Golden Pond. Did anyone say that they've seen it? Yes. Uh, there was there were some good people that were just like, yeah. oh, thank you so much That's for a, using that reference. That's a wholesome movie. I've never seen it. It's actually a good movie. Classic. Straight vertical. Vertical. 39. Wow, dude, I'm like r literally right on top of that little hole. That Bionic is pretty accurate over here. Jeez. I'm upgrading the line here. I actually forgot all my Laker rods. Absolute dunce move. I have a three foot nine medium light, uh, which will do the job. And I've upgraded my leader to some 20 pound test because these do these fish do have some teeth. And uh, as you guys saw in my one video where we fished for brook trout, literally just cut me right off. So it can happen. Uh, 20 pounds is a safe way to go. You can get away with obviously six and 10 and eight and all that stuff, but I'm just gonna play it safe given my luck in the past. 35 here, so it's not much of a contour change, but still deep as tits. This a go. There's one. Oh, it's smelt or something. I don't know what the that is. Same same kind of mark as last time. Just a little blip. I'm gonna move. I don't know if I should play the sit and wait game. I probably should move. Running and gunning, my guy. <laughs> Holy guacamole, bro! Nice! <laughs> okay, I gotta stop. Fish? No way! You gotta be f kidding me. This mother. It is a splake, I reckon. Wow, nice job. Thanks, man. It's a weird look. Yeah, it is a splake. There we go, Alex with the first splake of the day. We actually did it. <laughs> That's unreal. Oh man, so cool, I'm right? pretty sure it's a splake because its top looks like a brook trout and it does have a forked tail. I mean, stretch out that tail a little bit, just see. Yeah, uh, dude, it's, it's definitely. I don't know. I'm gonna call it a lake trout just to be safe, but it might be a, I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't look like a lake trout. Anyway, get him back in the water, nice fish. See ya. That was a spike. Slight fork in the tail. I would call that a slight fork. We should probably keep one or two too, because apparently they taste amazing. Pan optics time. First spike ever? Yeah, can Canada's got some good spike fishing. On again? Need help? What do you got? Oh wow, is that a... That's a lake trout. You think that's a lake trout? That's 100%, yeah, look at fan tail. It's a good fish though. Holy... Come on, come on, come on, come on. They're fun to hold, aren't they? Yeah, really fun to hold. Nice fish, there's Alex just put on a clinic, show me how it's done. Oh, uh, clipped? What the f*** is going on there? He's got no top fin. Yeah, he's got no top fin. I don't know, it looks like a lake trout to me. They're kind of hard to identify, especially since it's our first time ever catching them. I would not call that a slight fork. I call that a fan. I'm going to go with late trout 100% on that. But that is over 18 inches. You want to yeah. do a little catch and cook? I think we should do a little catch and cook. That's, that's a nice fish. I'd love to contribute to a catch and cook for once. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and honestly, that's going to be a great That's a good fillet. eater. Not going to get some release really B-roll. <laughs> Feels weird not putting it back. There you go. Almost, almost right back in, but yeah. Good fish. I mean, dude, that's, what do you what do you call that? Like 18, 18 probably inches? Probably 19, 20, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a good fish. Well, they're here. So, they're here. Let's hey, keep go going. get one. So I'm in right now. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. What? Where did you go? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, what are you doing? Guy came in like a rocket, then bounced. This one came up from top and then laid on the bottom. I think I need to switch something smaller. I wonder if it's just like they're right here and only right here for some weird reason. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna switch something a little bit smaller. I was throwing that tantrum, but now I'm gonna throw a little spoon, a little gold spoon with a feathered treble on the back. I am marking some fish, but they aren't reacting nicely. So with that in mind, I'm gonna switch something smaller. Jeez, everything is freezing. Even though it's really not that cold out. Yeah. Might as well try that. 
little bit of smell always gets a flaker going. So I'm marking fish right now, but I can't get them to commit. Um, so what I did is I took a, a dead smelt head and I put it on my spoon. I just tipped the dead smelt head on one of my hooks, one of my treble hooks. And I'm going to see if maybe just a little bit of scent is enough to get these fish to react. Sometimes lake trout just, they love the smell of something dead or alive. Honestly, lake trout are just like catfish. It's like the best way to describe them to people who've never caught them before is they're, they're greasy and they love stinky shit and they fight hard just like a catfish and today they're literally right on the bottom like catfish so i don't know so, so this is definitely weird not what i expected but it's good to see fish in the area and there's bait hope to see it just found some pretty deep water. As soon as I dropped my transducer, the hole, just a bunch of bait came out of nowhere. Probably smelt. Very promising little spot. Still have yet to catch a fish. We're like an hour and a half deep. I still have yet to catch a freaking fish. Get a single bite. Struggle out here is real. Oh, here's a mark. Come on. There's a fish right there. Please eat it. Literally instantly, as soon as I dropped down, the fish came up and looked at my spoon. Now he's gone. Oh, see that right there is the bait. Those blobs you see off to the right. Presumably smelt. Maybe shiners, I don't know. But that's a good sign. 46 feet of water and tons of bait. Should mean there's some big fish right around the corner. Oh, shit. that was a laker. There was a laker. That was a laker. Come on, come on back. No, come on back, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, I'm on. There we go, hooked up. Just went to school that bait and finally found a fish. Love to see it. Ooh, that's a splake, I think. Is that a splake? That is a splake, I reckon, yeah. I'm not gonna say for certain, but I'm like 90% sure this is a splake. It's got a slight fork in the tail. Um, brook trout have fantails, lake trout have very slender forks and this is kind of a cross between the both again don't quote me on this but i'm like pretty sure this is a little splake not actually a bad one nothing clipped on it which leads me to believe that maybe it isn't a splake but the patterns are awesome these are really cool fish my first ever splake and to do it through the ice is pretty wicked there's just a ball of bait down there and he came up and crushed it above the bait you can eat these guys um and they are stocked fish so they don't normally reproduce there's only a few places in the world where they they can naturally reproduce so we are going to keep just one today see how they taste i've heard they're ridiculously good plus i had to gill them a little bit just to get them out of the hole but anyway first ever splake beautiful little guy I'm gonna harvest this dude tonight and it's gonna go really good with that lake trout that alex caught pretty little fish though man so cool <laughs> we did it freaking splake beautiful scenario absolutely wonderful mission accomplished i can't believe we did it i woke up this morning and, and started that intro for you guys i was like we may make it happen. We may may we may catch a splake. We may not. They're not the easiest of fish to catch around here. And we're, you know, in a place that's not too far from a pretty populated area. So it's cool to be able to come to a new location and catch a species I've never caught before. Basically a hybrid mega species. This is key. Jigging your rod like this is absolutely key. Just want to keep that bait moving at all times. Make sure the tip is hitting the water. Oh, Jesus, is that actually a fish tail? Oh my God, I did not just do that. That was really stupid. That, oh my God, there's actually a fish down there too. I'm gonna break my rod. Literally, I decided to absolutely myself. Wow, that like wasn't funny. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, wow, my brain hurts just looking at this. For you guys laughing, I've had to sacrifice a bit of pain. Self-inflicted pain, by the way, so don't feel bad for me, obviously. Holy tits, what was I... Th you know, my hands are cold, too. This is just not what I want to be doing. The bite's slow, so I figured, hey, I'll mess around for a little bit. I'll make a little joke. The joke's on me now. Ooh, there's actually a fish on my lure, and I don't have a rod right now because I fed myself. So I'm literally handlining this... Oh, my God, please eat it. This would be absolutely legendary. Please eat it. He's all the way up. Oh, come on, <laughs> eat it. This would make me laugh. He's still there, come on, crush it, crush it, crush it. This would be so funny. I'd cry of laughter. 
He's all over me, for God's sakes. <laughs> oh, there's another one. There's two fish down there. Are you kidding me? This is not good. I'm so dumb. Sometimes I'm my worst enemy. I want it that way. Tell me why. God bless it. These fish are whack. Can't get them to bite. I don't know what the hell is going on. This is the exact opposite problem we had when we fished that little pond for those largemouth, that multi-species challenge. That was a fun day. We did good. But the problem was we couldn't find the fish. But once we did, we get them to bite. Here at this lake, different day, we can find the fish. Just can't get them to bite. I don't get it. This is why ice fishing is such a double-edged sword. It's fun. It's nice. Sure, it's cold. But some days, it just doesn't happen. Perfect example. I, sp I probably saw like 40 fish on my graph. And how many did you catch? One for me, three for Alex. So I think Alex, um, here's the channel. This is my moment where I just hand, literally <laughs> hand everything off to you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, the good news is, is we did catch a splake, my first ever one. It was kind of hard to identify because they lose their kind of like fall, winter colors when they go out super deep like that. I did text my buddy Ryan Gideon. He confirmed that was a splake. You can just barely tell there's a fork in the tail. The fun part happens now. We've got our two fish. We're ready to go back to Camp Claw. Let's get this little ice fishing catch and cook underway. We'll meet you guys back at camp and uh, get to prepping, meal prepping time. Welcome back to camp, folks. Just headed off the water, but a 50 minute ride back from the lake to what we call home up here in Maine. I'm sharpening up my, uh, my katana. This thing is wicked sharp. You can literally cut air molecules with this thing. That's how freaking slicey and dicey it is. But I'm, the reason why I'm sharpening this is because we're gonna have to fillet our fish. We've got one togue and one splake, a little splaker. Honestly, I've never really filleted lake trout too much and this will be my first time ever filleting a splake. Just look at the difference between the splake and the laker. Smaller scattered speckles, more distinct orange tail. This looks just like a laker to me. And the other guy looks more like a, a brook trout splake mixture. But in the fall, the splake will look a little more like this but seeing it's winter time and this fish was deep, he's lost all of his cool colors. Okay, we're gonna try our best to play this guy. Oh my God, basically I'm just gonna gut him and uh, cook him whole. That's like a really awesome way to cook trout. Again, I don't know the best way to do this, but we're gonna just try our best here. That's about the size of the spoon I was throwing too. Yeah, that's a smelt, look at that. 100% of smelt. Which is so funny because we had two auto rods set up with live smelt on them and nothing touched them. I pulled them after they'd been sitting for three hours and they weren't even touched, so it was weird. So they're down there eating smelt, but for some reason they weren't eating our smelt. Rude. Just gonna get the rest of that gunk out and then we should be straight. Looks like a pretty decent flight. Kind of a light pinkish meat. Not really what I expected, it looks good. There's a lot more going on here with the Laker. Look at that meat though. Some really good meat there. Here we go, here's our fillets. Lake trout, splake trout. Good looking fillets. What we're gonna do now is we're just gonna stuff these guys full of some flavor, some goodness, and then we're gonna throw them on the trigger for a bit. And then we're gonna eat, we're gonna enjoy, we're gonna feast. That's what everyone needs to do after a long day ice fishing, just feast, just eat. to get technical or anything but we have it set at 280 obviously a trigger cooks on pellets so it's kind of kind of smoke it and cook it at the same time but yeah now we wait for our our um trout skis to fully cook so that we can feast i'm so pumped i'm so freaking pumped
Home Depot dad etiquette right here to do this. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Woo wee. That looks phenomenal. I might have actually done something good here. The chicken has a little bit longer. Fish cooks faster than the chicken. Looks like we've got some pretty good food to eat tonight. I'm in awe. It obviously looks good. It looks authentic. We've got the garnishes. We've got the seasoning on there. But the million dollar question, does it taste good? Let's find out. I'll give you a piece and you can try it. We've got, we've got Kayla here. She's gonna she's gonna try some of this. Lake trout, you ever had lake trout before? No. First time. So this is lake trout and this is splake. Splake is a cross between a lake trout and a brook trout. A little fun fact for you. Okay, so let's try the lake trout first. I'll try it and then. Here. Okay. I'll pick it. Yeah. <clears throat> Honestly, if you do get a little skin, it, it'll make it taste not bad. So don't be afraid of the skin. It tastes really good, actually. Really? Yeah. I'm surprised. I thought it tastes kind of fishy, but... No, not at all. No? Mm-mm. Okay. Try this one now. This is the one I'm excited about. Splake is supposed to taste really good. Wow. Okay. Holy nut. Oh my god, look Oh, wow. At... So much better, right? Well. Look how it just falls apart. The splake is so good. This is my first time ever catching splake, eating splake, cooking splake. And it's really delicious. A little bone there. <laughs> not bad. No, but... I know, there's bones. There's gonna the bone in my mouth doesn't taste delicious. So. There's no, you're supposed to, it's a delicacy. You're supposed to eat it. Yeah, it's Here, would you like one? to me. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll say that one for you. There you go. No. So, which one do you like the best? Go. This one. The spike? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's more pink, if you notice. This one tastes good, though. Yeah. It's more mild. It's. It doesn't taste fishy. I'm just gonna say it. It's, it, it is fishy. Lake it does not Lake taste fishy. Lake trout is always kind of sus. No, it does not taste fishy. Mushy, too. You think that tastes fishy? I think this tastes more like fish, this tastes more like chicken. Chicken, interesting. Alex is a seafood connoisseur. connoisseur. So I'm really it's not curious. Connoisseur, connoisseur. Connoisseur Rex. I'm really curious There's to see this. what his opinion on this trout is. So that's a lake trout you just want to bite for. It's so mild. It's like, it's it really, it really like chicken almost, doesn't, doesn't it? have a lot of flavor, honestly. No, no. Uh, it tastes like chicken. But it's really good. Yeah. It's moist. Yeah. Falls apart. Honestly. This is what we really need to try. Yeah, try the skin. Actually, the skin's good. A little bit Especially. of bones. bones. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I had. I just but it honestly, got bones. I caught that fish. Yeah, it's a cool feeling to harvest your own catch and then have John B. cook it off the Traeger. Yeah, just sponsored. Not, yeah, sponsored. Sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. Should be sponsored. Not sponsored. Thanks, Traeger. Yeah, thanks, Traeger. Let Maybe me just one day. Okay. That together. The skin cooked really well. Like, it's the way to do it. Oh, it's like so much better. It isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah, so it's much, like ridiculously better. Isn't it? So and much they better. They were seasoned the boat. They were seasoned the same way too. Just one hundred percent. That one tastes like more like salmon. Salmon. It's yeah. more of a true like trout salmonoid taste. It oil. tastes more fishy though, doesn't it? It tastes more like a fish. More yes. oil. See? Yeah. I would say like, See, hey, this nailed it. More like Very chicken. mild. It doesn't taste like anything. That tastes yeah. just like fish. I agree. And That's good. really good though. No. Honestly, we need we need more splake. More splake. I know. That's why I was kind of pissed while you threw that one away because the. Thing is, actually, I don't know if you guys know this, but Alex outfished me today as he seems to have been doing this whole main trip, this whole main send. But at least we're catching fish. That's all that matters. Anyway, what I was trying to get at is when he first caught that splake, I looked it up and I was like, do splake even taste good? And the general online consensus is that they're actually a better eating fish than brook trout, which I've heard is delicious. And they're a better eating fish than lake trout, which is... Kind of a coin toss. Some people love it, some people hate it. I'm very neutral with lake trout, but it's good protein and they're abundant here in Maine and in the north. So I'm glad we got a chance to do this. This was good. This was fun. If you guys want to see more catch and cooks, more trout fishing missions, let us know in the comment section, but we will make it happen. But that's it. We're saying goodnight here at Camp Claw. We appreciate the view so much and we'll catch you guys next time. As always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop. Bye.